everyone, this is Samantha from Scrapmaster's Paradise. You can find me at www.thescrapmaster.com and today I would like to talk to you about Cricut Cartridge Handbook. I've been using my Cricut for years. I was one of the first people to jump on the Cricut bandwagon. Um, I got my machine almost as soon as the machines came out. So when I was going back and trying to think of how I wanted to approach this subject, I realized why it was so confusing for everybody. I realized there were a bunch of different kinds of handbooks and I'm gonna go over each kind with you before we even go to the machine. I'm gonna talk about the handbook. Let's first talk about the regular normal old cartridge handbooks. So here's an example. This is Winter Frolic and this is about how the majority of the older cartridges come. If it's a full content cartridge you'll get the booklet It'll have some instructions and a little project for you to do. And then the most important part is the keypad. Kind of, it's kind of like a guide. And it walks you through the creative features. Ooh, let's make sure you can see. The creative features that each cartridge comes with, and they're unique to that cartridge. Oh, so let's start from the beginning. And it walks you through. I'll get you guys a bigger picture so you can see. Let's see. That one's pretty clear. Okay. Here's a look at all the shapes that you can get from one single button. And here's an example of the overlay. So I'm talking about these white buttons here. There's 50 of them on each cartridge. How this works is you have function keys so that you can get all these different shapes. When I'm talking about function keys, I'm talking about these six keys right here in the top corner. Okay, So when all of these keys are turned off and they're not lit up, then you're going to get this shape here. And then if you have the first function key on, it'll be labeled. It says layer. Then This one's actually the wrong pad, but it'll say layer, tag, border, phrase, phrase shadow, and shadow for the overlay that matches this booklet. But you can see there's two shapes. This one's without a shift key on, and this one is with a shift key on. And it sounds really confusing, I know. It, it is kind of confusing when you think about it. So the shift key is right here, and there's a shift lock in case you plan on using shift a bunch. Um, that comes in handy when there's an alphabet you're trying to use. So. If you leave the shift off, it'll be the one in the bottom corner, and then with the shift on, it'll be in the top corner. So we can follow that pattern all the way across all of the function keys. So you can have the first function key on, and you'd have to get that function key on plus the shift key on in order to get this shape up in the corner. And that's the true for this, this, all the way across, and these two say not available. So if you hit shift, with this function key on, then you're not going to get a shape. It'll tell you error or something. Once you get the pattern down, you'll, I mean, this will become second nature. Because when I look in the booklet and I'm looking for a shape, and I'm looking at like this, I want the ski bunny, I know which buttons to press. It just comes second nature to me. But they just updated the booklets which has kind of thrown me off because I've been used to those other booklets for years. So they updated the booklets. And this is um, the best of Pixar. I just flipped to a page. And you can see this booklet looks different than that other booklet. Let me get that one back. Okay, so here's the new one. Here's the old one. Okay, so the new one has them organized with the six function keys going down like this across the page. But that actually makes more sense because there's three function keys in the first row and three function keys in the second row. So they coordinate with the buttons a lot easier. That makes it really easy actually if you're new to the Cricut because these booklets are more intuitive of how you would think that they would be. And this is the regular button. So for this one, this is the regular shape, and then the thing to the side is the um, shift key. 
Well, that's two different booklets. And of course, there's more. For instance, the Serenade cartridge is actually a, solution, a solutions cartridge. And it comes with just a little pamphlet like this. It doesn't come with the full handbook because it actually doesn't have all of the feature keys. It only has the first two feature keys. So then the other four feature keys are blank. So at this one, you really have to look at the keypad overlay to see what you're trying to cut out. There's also the light cartridges, and the light cartridges also don't come with a handbook. They come with this little pamphlet, and I've talked about this one in a different video. So with this one, they kind of walk you through the steps to get each shape and all of the layers you want. Like this kitty cat here has all four layers of color. Hope you can see that. I'm not, I can't tell if that's blurry for you guys or not. It walks you through the cat, and then you press the shift, get that shape, and then you press layer, and then you press layer and shift, and then you get the full cat with all four different layers. So it makes it a little bit complicated because it's a little bit different. But once you get them down, then it's pretty easy. In the following videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through using the machine, how to use each of the handbooks to get what shapes you want to cut out. That's a nice